how to debug a smart form. As you have already seen, different process and different steps to identify the web program. Now, in this lesson, we will learn how to debug a smart form. Now, for demo, I am taking a small smart form with only two, three blocks of data. So, here, when I execute this smart form, so we can see this output, okay, with some dynamic data like purchase order number and some standard aesthetic text. So, in case if you want to debug the smart form, suppose it's our own smart form and we are doing in the development system. So, in that case, one easy way is to set the breakpoint with the keywords with our own user ID. Just we are done in programs like either with the breakpoint or with break space our user ID. So here I have my code in the initialization block and also here I have some code written in the main block. So both the places we can set our breakpoint like this. So after that if we execute the smart form okay so breakpoint will get triggered and here we can check the values like here if I want to check the value of this work area. So like this we can do. But this will not be scenario in the real time cases. Sometimes we have to debug the smart form in production system and where we don't have any breakpoint, a static breakpoint. So in that case, how to set the breakpoint? So for that, very simple step. Let me first delete this breakpoint. As a smart form function model is different in each client. In development, the smart form function model will be different. In production, is different. So in the client, when where you want to debug, in that client, we have to first identify the function model. For that, go to environment and click on function model. Okay. So here, I'll copy the function model name. We can also see the same name when we are executing that in the, that client. Okay. So this is a function model here. Go to display mode attributes. And here, we have the main program name. Double click on this and go inside this include. For example, if you want to debug the only the initialization block. So you can simply control F and type global underscore in it. Okay. So here you can see the same block which we have in the initialization block. Okay. Let me open the smart form again. Here we can see in this initialization block I have written this right, this right query. Okay, so we can see that which is in the form routine global underscore in it. Now, for example, some other select query we want to identify, we want to debug. So, for example, here I have this code written and it is loop at gt underscore ekpo. Now, for this, I don't know the form routine. Okay, so what you can do, just simply type some copy some lines of code in that block which we want to debug and again in the include program enter that copied line and press enter so we can see that code block here now here it is like form c01 in a smart form where we have multiple code blocks okay multiple code blocks and in table in template so it is difficult to identify the respective form so this is one way, first identify the smart form, then find out the program name, go inside the program and search that code block like this and then set the breakpoint here. Now here I will set a breakpoint and one more breakpoint I will set in the global initialization that is global underscore init. Okay, so this time we are not hard coding any breakpoint. We are setting the breakpoint 
by going to the program. Okay, now if I execute the program, it's execute a smart form. So here we can see the backpoint is trigger. Okay, now if I execute second block, where system is like executing the second block before the template. So like this, any number of code block we can debug in a smart form in a simple step. I will repeat the step again. Inside the smart form, just go to the function model, go to environment and function model name. Okay, copy this function model name, go to AC37, display mode, attributes, double click on program name, and last routine F01. And here we can search any code block which you have written inside the smart form. So, in this way, in a very easy way, we can do the debugging in a smart form. Thank you.